So here's a question. Who are these people who are still supporting Goatis on his telegram every month? Seriously, who are these people that after all he's done, all the scams he's pulled, what he did to Luna and what he did to his own infant son, how can anybody send their money to a internationally wanted fugitive who refuses to address any of the allegations? And if you so much as mention these allegations, <laughs> facts, I would call them, on his channel, he will ban you. Your comment will never see the light of day. So, you have guys like Vegan Gaines, who knows what Gotis has done and has told all of his subscribers about what Gotis has done. And you don't see Gotis firing up a live stream to debunk Vegan Gaines. You don't see Gotis doing a Vegan Gaines debunked video anymore, do you? So now, a guy who claims that he's anti-vegan won't dare touch anything that Vegan Gaines says because Vegan Gaines knows that Gotis hired hitmen to attack Luna with acid and to throw a Molotov cocktail through his son's window. So beings that Vegan Gaines knows what Gotis has done. Gotis is forced to keep his mouth shut and never say a word about Vegan Gaines ever again. So, imagine the guy who is Mr. Anti-Vegan no longer goes to vegan events, no longer eats meat in front of vegans at their vegan events. That was the most famous thing that he ever did. That was the thing that got him the most attention was eating meat at vegan events. But he doesn't do that anymore and he never will do that anymore. He basically can't do that anymore. He used to do meetups with his mentally ill slave scribers, but he doesn't do meetups anymore and he can't do meetups anymore because he's on the run and he's too afraid to meet up with anyone because there's so many people that, you know, might want to beat his ass or uh, help the authorities catch him. So of course he doesn't want to meet up with anyone. So what does he do? Oh, just review videos. He reviews all the videos, except for the ones that talk about him and mention the things that he's done. He doesn't review those videos. He won't review this video. He doesn't dare touch any of my catalog. I wonder why. His plan now, for the rest of his life, I guess, is to just review videos of guys who go to the gym and say that they're stupid for going to the gym. That's it. That's pretty much going to be the rest of his life. And relying on his mentally ill slave scribers to pay him on Telegram every month. That's all he's got. It's all he's got. It's all he's got left. All he can do is find a guy who's fat and bald and has lots of muscles and looks like he's on steroids and bloated. And then he can point at that guy and say, that guy's the bad guy. Don't be a bald, steroided freak. Yeah, I know. A lot of people know not to be a crazed, bald-headed, steroided freak. That's not vital information that everyone needs to know. But that's all he wants to repeat nowadays, right? So who are these people who need to hear day in and day out not to go to the gym? How long is that going to last? How long can he really keep this up? Can you, can you do this for five more years? 
can you do this for 10 years? In a decade, is he still going to be on YouTube? Is YouTube still going to be the main thing, the main platform that regular people use? How do you even know what the future holds? He, he has no plan. His only plan is keep pointing at guys who go to the gym and hopefully everyone will forget all the things he's done. What a wonderful plan. While you're on the run from the law, you're running from authorities for a living and pointing at guys who go to the gym too much and saying, you should not go to the gym. It is very bad for your health and mentally ill. And that's it. That's his plan for the rest of his life. Run from the law, hide his location, never eat meat at a vegan event, never do a meetup, never do another live stream. When was the last time he did a live stream? How long has it been? Eight, nine months? So he might not ever do one of those again. Who knows? So like I said, in 10 years, is he still just gonna be pointing? It roided out freaks going to the gym, telling people not to do that? Are people still gonna watch 10,000 at a time? I don't get it, but I do know, slowly but surely, this loser is going to lose it. And the day he gets caught, it's going to be the crown jewel of this channel, the pinnacle of the work that I've done. This started as a parody channel, and it is so much more now. It's more than just a parody channel. I started this channel to teach the man a little lesson, and holy shit, look at where we are now. Have you guys heard his mentally ill telegram slave scribe or support is starting to drop again. Boom. Oh, sorry to hear that. Oh, you better go make some new nature videos and talk about some edgy stuff to get some more new mentally ill slave scribers to support you on telegram. That's your job. You're gonna do that for the rest of your life while running from authorities and trying to raise a daughter.